Okay, what we've got here is similar to a roller coaster problem, except we've got a person going down a slide. And how it differs from a roller coaster is there's actually some friction. So this is going to affect our total energy. Sure, we have a certain amount of energy up here, just like a roller coaster, and we're going to slide down, and some of that energy is going to be converted into kinetic energy, which is going to give us the speed that we're going here, which is what we're looking for. But the difference is I'm losing some of that energy because of this friction. So we'll go through this problem, this person sliding down a slide, and we'll have to take into account that uh, work that the friction is done. So just with, like a roller coaster problem, one of the first things we need to do is find the total energy, and that starts breaking the problem apart for us. So we're going to find the total energy here for the person at the top of the slide. Well, I'm dealing with kinetic energy, and I'm dealing with gravitational energy. So I have to account for both of those in my equation. And we're kind of lucky. At the top here, the person is starting at zero velocity, so this is going to end up being zero anyways. So simple calculation. The total energy is the kinetic, one half mv squared, plus the gravitational, which we know is mgh. So I quickly plug in my numbers, one half times 20 times zero squared, so that's going to generate that zero, plus 20 times 9.8 times my height, which is three meters. So the total energy of this system at the top is going to be 588 joules. Now usually the energy anywhere in a system is going to be constant, but again, here we have this friction. So when I get to the total down here, the total here is going to be the kinetic plus the gravity, and that's going to help us work out this velocity, but I've got to take off some energy because of this uh, three newtons of friction. So how much work did that friction do? Well, that friction did force times distance, which is three times the four meter length that the person sliding down, that's 12 joules. So I've lost 12 joules of energy on the slide. So my total at the bottom is not going to be the same as the total at the top because I've lost some. So I take the 588 minus 12, and that gives us 576 joules. That's how much energy I have at the bottom. Now I just got to find out what form it's in, and I can solve for the velocity. So let's look at the total at the bottom. The total at the bottom is the kinetic plus gravity. Because as I said before here, we're dealing with motion and height, so we have to account for motion, kinetic energy, and height, gravitational energy. So the total now is 576. My kinetic is 1 half m, I'm just going to plug the numbers right in at the same time, which is 20 v squared plus the gravitational, which is mgh. But at this point, there is no height. So h in here is going to be 0, so let's skip a step, and we'll put a 0 right in there. So mgh is going to be 0. So I can rearrange this. I solve for the velocity, and it comes out to 7.6 meters per second. And that's how we get the answer.